FAU Sports Show. I'm Andrew Rainey. And I'm Holly Jones. A lot happened this past week in the world of FAU Sports, so let's get it started. The FAU football team traveled to Oklahoma this past weekend to face Tulsa Golden Hurricane. The game was evenly matched for most of the first half, with the Owls trailing Tulsa 21-17. Quarterback Jacquez Johnson, who finished the game with 263 yards passing, 113 rushing yards, and a total of two touchdowns, led the FAU offense to an outburst of points in the third quarter. Unfortunately, the Owls defense could not hold onto the lead as Tulsa tied the game up with three seconds left. In overtime, Greg Joseph, who made three out of four field goal attempts, put the Owls ahead by three. But the Golden Hurricane, led by wide receiver Kevon Lucas, scored the game-ending touchdown in overtime, giving the Owls their first loss of the season. The men's soccer team played two games this past week. On Thursday, the Owls hosted the Jacksonville Dolphins. Ramon Whitaker scored the lone goal for FAU as the Owls earned a 1-1 to -one tie. On Sunday, the Fairfield Stags visited Boca Raton. David Adejimobi scored first for FAU, but the Stags offense came back to double up the Owls with the final score of 2-1. The men's soccer team is now 0-2-1 and will travel to Illinois over the weekend to face the Northern Illinois Huskies and Loyola Chicago Ramblers. The women's soccer team hosted their first game of the 2015 season against the University of Miami. Kel Smith was there on the sidelines. Hey guys, I'm Taylor Smith and I'm here with the Blue Wave Sports Show. We're here at the FAU Soccer Stadium for our Lady Owls season home opener. Coming off of a loss over the weekend to number four, Texas A&M, FAU looked to get back on the winning track versus the Hurricanes. The Lady Owls pressured early on offense, which led to a goal by Asa Arendotter. FAU countered their goal with stellar defense, including four saves by Sydney Drinkwater. Erica Burt headed in a goal from a corner kick in the 23rd minute, extending the Lady Owls' lead to two. Later in the game, Asa Arendotter scored her second goal of the night as FAU pulled away from Miami. Here's Coach Baker on what he has to say about her performance. Asa's a special, special talent, and last year, you know, she was uh, on the Conference USA All-Freshman team. Um, as I was saying before, she's been very talented but hasn't quite had the assist or goal production that she and we are looking for, but um, she's had a great start to the season. The first goal, although it probably was deflected, ended up in the back of the net. And the third one was just a great strike that the goalkeeper had a hard time keeping out of the back of the net. So couldn't be more happy for her and the team. Not only did Coach Baker think the Owls played well, but in the stand, the Miami Heat's in arena host, Dale McClain, thought that the Lady Owls were also having a great performance. I mean, you're a forward, number 10. She's amazing. Uh, she seems to be making the ball move quickly, and the team seems to be very organized. The Lady Owls gave up a goal late, but were able to hold on to win by the final score of 3-1. to one bringing their record to four and one. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. The men's and women's cross country team hosted the FAU Invitational in Boca Raton. FAU runner Michael Vidal won the men's 5K race in 15 minutes and 25 seconds, setting a FAU record. Both Owls teams won their respective events. The next meet will be in Orlando for the UCF Invitational this weekend. The Owls volleyball team traveled to Nashville for the Lipscomb Invitational Tournament. FAU suffered their first losses of the season, falling to Pepperdine three sets to one, then getting swept by Ball State. The Lady Owls bounced back on Saturday, sweeping host Lipscomb three sets to zero. The volleyball team, who are now five and two, will travel to Jacksonville this weekend to compete in the Courtyard Mayo Classic. For more information on FAU Sports, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We'll be right back. 